Hello, this is welcome to the triangle program and I'm just going to show you how the program works. Okay, so you have a little triangle here. Now there's a few things you can do right away. You can uh, you can move the triangle around by dragging it. Click on it and drag it. Okay, you could also use the, um, the little arrow keys here on your screen or the arrow keys on your computer okay, to move it around. Um, you can also rotate it. Now it rotates about this little plus sign that's on the, in the mid center of the screen that's very faint. Okay, so you, if you grab it, you could rotate it. Um, you could also use the uh, the arrow keys. Okay, so the up and the right arrow rotate it clockwise. The left and the arrow, down arrow rotate. That's interesting. The up arrow is going counterclockwise, and the ah okay. So the sorry, the right and the down go go uh, clockwise, and the up and the left go camera clockwise. Okay, and you can also resize it. So once again it resizes about this point on the uh, the little plus sign. So if you drag it away from the plus it gets bigger, if you drag it towards the plus it gets smaller. Okay, you could also use the arrow keys so the up makes it get bigger, the down makes it get smaller, the right makes it get, get bigger, the left makes it get smaller as well. Okay, and that's how you can use the keys. You can answer most of your questions using the keypad here. Um, it's just when it's asking you to name the type of triangle, you have to type it in. So if you're using an iPad, you're going to have to use the keyboard on the iPad. Um, but most of the questions, most of the other questions can be answered just using the keypad. Okay. And that's about it for the controls. All right. So for example, what's the measure of angle J here? Well, if that's 90 and that's 57, that makes 147, which makes this angle 33 degrees. Right, so you just type in 33 and degrees and then enter. I said, yeah. I said, oh, yeah. Okay, and that's how the program works. Have a good day.